Hi everybody, uh, we have another competition to get our teeth into. This is the International Championship for IKMF Pentathlon and it's online and it's going to run from the 30th of November to the 6th of December. So you've got a whole week, okay, those dates inclusive, 30th to the 6th, seven days to get your lift in. Make sure the video is in one take, don't cut out the five minute rest breaks, so we're a full 50 minute video. Make sure your entire body is in frame. Okay, so like this video now, it needs to be in portrait mode. And when your arm's in the air, the bell doesn't disappear out the top. You can see your feet and make sure the lighting is good quality as well. With clothing, make sure you wear shorts. They must be above the knee. Leggings are not allowed, you know, they're really tight. You have to have the knees exposed. Okay, uh, same with your top, no hoodies, no sweatshirts, just a t-shirt, uh, wrist guards, perfectly acceptable. Uh, footwear, as long as there's something on your feet, that's fine. Uh, this is open to everybody, okay, you don't have to have a CMS, but that doesn't mean to say that the quality is going to take a bit of a nosedive, because it won't, all right, the judges are still looking for a good quality controlled lifting. All right, and I'll go over that now with the lifts, so with the cleans, uh, 120 reps maximum allowed with the cleans. Try not to go too fast, try and keep a good tempo. Don't be finishing in four and a half minutes because chances are there'll be loads of no reps anyway. Um, so take your time, 20 reps a minute, 120. Obviously you can go faster than 20 reps a minute, but when you reach 120, that's when you have to stop. Okay, so cleans. Pause here. Get the legs as straight as possible. Multi-switch, hand changes allowed with all the lifts, with cleans. Make sure you do a swing change and carry on. So again, swing change. And just moment of fixation in the rack. Six minutes of that, five minutes rest. Next is clean and press. Two points of fixation are required for this one. Here, at the top, all the way back down, just bounce and go. Fixate, press, fixate. Prior to pressing, make sure your knees are locked. They don't bend as you go up. We don't want to see any push, press, and we don't want to see any excessive bending as the bell goes up. Knees remain locked. These, again, are a swing change. Heel stay down. Watch your alignment at the top. Arm as straight as you can get it. Close to the ear, not too far out to the side or too far to the front. As straight as your mobility will allow. Next up is jerks. Now this is 120 reps, so 20 minutes. One point of fixation at the top. However, as you come back down, you have to have a pause before you can go into another rep. If you absorb to catch the bell on the way back down, make sure you come to standing before re-dipping for the next rep. So it look like this. What we don't want to see is bounce outs. There are no reps. Straighten, pause, and then re dip for the next rep. Try to make your reps look like jerks and not push press. When you see a second dip, not that or that. We need to see a second dip, second bend of the knees. Nice good dip, second dip, stand.
also with jerks you can do a speed switch so as you come to change that is allowed make sure you change as you swing underneath and not further up it has to be down there next is half snatch uh, 108 reps 18 reps a minute one point of fixation at the top bounce out there as long as the kettlebell is seen to projecting forward at that point that is acceptable it can't come straight down fixate now again with these it's a swing change finally we have push press what's critical push press that hill will stay down one dip up fixate down same applies with the jerks if you do a dip as you catch straighten first then go again so if you do dip in these straighten and go don't do that they are no reps with these once again like jerks you can do a speed switch like so remember you can have five different weights on the platform uh, at one time use those then as you wish you need to specify which bell is for which lift make sure you also video your weight your body weight and all of the bell weights okay and preferably in one continuous shot if you can just do your weigh-ins then mount the camera back on the tripod whatever and then carry on with the lift okay good luck hope you get a smashing store and uh, i'll see you soon